Rise and get your chakras running. Headed on your life path, looking for adventure. And whatever comes your way, because you are born to be wild. You are. And in the never ending saga of you can't make this stuff up, whammo bammo, who shows up for you all on this pick a card tarot reading Friday, the 29th, 2021. Foxy baby. Oh, yes. Who is the Knight of Wands in the Ark deck? Now, <laughs> cookie. Because last night was the full moon, the wolf full moon. Foxes are the cousins of the wolves. Who knew? You all did. I know you did. But what that tells me, I, I, I don't even, I can barely put it into words because, you know, we just talked about you setting intentions and removing these blocks to, you know, doing what you want to do, getting out of your head. And here comes you know, the knight in shining armor. This, this is the knight, the knight of wands, you guys, in traditional tarot card meetings is really at the end of the day, it's the, anything that you've been puzzled by is cleared. You're moving forward. The newfound clarity is just giving you so much power. You know, remember the chakra today is the throat chakra. Um, the ruling planet is Venus. It's all about stepping into what you love, speaking what you love, communicating what you love, um, just communicating love. And that equates to passion, which equates to the orange sign uh, or the orange color of Fox. And I mean, we, I can do this laundry list of connecting the dots, all the metaphysical symbolism and meanings for hours with this. But what that tells me, you know, when, because when I read for you all, I set the intention of, right? Whatever is, is the best for the collective at large, right? The, the hive mind, the pack, the, what, the flock, the whatever, right? The herd. I trust the animal allies and I trust the archetypes of the tarot cards to show me where you're at and what you're needing. Now, some of you will come to these readings and not, it, it won't vibe with you. It won't resonate. That's a shame because there's something in it for everyone. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, no one has completely ascended yet <laughs> and does not walk a perfect path um, or nothing in their path is perfect. And so hopefully each day you can get at least one little golden nugget, right? But today, Y'all must have done some serious, serious ritual work last night in the full moon, which is, you know, full moons are all about setting your intentions and starting something new. And that energy, that wolf moon just has clearly just launched you. Blocks were cleared. You see things new, anew. Your perspective has shifted. It has changed. That's some kind of powerful energetic work that you guys did. Now, adding to that, it, you know, when you start to take the tarot card meanings and you just like even look at them one at a time, every bit of it today is about what yesterday was. Well, it's the next evolution of what yesterday is. <laughs> I'm just so excited. I'm like, it's the next evolution of what yesterday and the hermit card inverted, the snow leopard inverted was all about. It's about getting out of your head and it's about moving forward. And you know, the Knight of Wands and the Fox, they are fire uh, fire symbols, right? So that's why you're getting your chakras running, you know, you're headed on your life path, that kind of thing, right? So the only thing, it's like I'm asking spirit to tell, I'm cocking my head like the RCA dog, right? It's I hear things. It's like, what? well, what are they, what, what's the caution here? Nothing. Nothing. Now, is that a call for you to go willy-nilly walking off a cliff, you know, like in Raiders of the Lost Ark, when he takes that leap of faith and he, you know, and he's like, okay. And then he sprinkles some sand uh, and grit and dirt on the path the path is illuminated. That's it. The path is illuminated. And then he's like, okay, I, I, I see it there. I believe it's there, but now I've got to take that leap of faith and I've got to walk out onto that ledge knowing I might plummet to my death. Now, Bernadette's not telling you to do that. So please understand I'm not. Okay. 
not like that. But it, there is a call for you too on this path that you know you're being called on, which is probably deeply spiritual um, in whatever way that you want to contribute to the world in, in, in a spiritual form of leadership, if that makes sense. And so when you, when you step into the full power of the Knight of Wands and then you add the fox as a spirit totem or power animal, it's going to let you know that that leap of faith that you want to take, we're good to go as long as you sprinkle some grit on it. What that means is it's like try before you buy, but not so much that you get back into your own head. Just literally whatever is enough to quiet you in your spirit. And I keep seeing over and over and over him throwing that that grit, that sand, that dirt, those rocks on that. And it, it, I, I just keep hearing that as it comes to you, right? It's that kind of thing. That could mean that you, you know, let's say you want to be a reader and, and you've studied for forever, but maybe you've only flipped cards or done mediumship or a psychic reading or whatever for just a few friends and some family. Okay. Put yourself in a, put yourself in a situation where you can do practice readings. Now there are about a billion of groups on the internet. Um, and I, I, the only, I, I can't tell you one is better than the other, right? But that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is just to put the word out that you're doing free readings as practice and you'll have people coming out of the woodwork because your friends will tell their friends, will tell their friends, will tell their friends. And the next thing you know, your phone's ringing off the hook. So it really is that kind of thing. Your path is there. After yesterday, I know that you know it's there now, and I know that you're moving forward, or this card wouldn't have come out. And so the, 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 the fox really is calling you to move stealthily. Move, you know, listen, animals in the wild, yes, they forget themselves, you know, that, that they could be pounced on at any time, and they play, and they frolic, and you know, they have picnics and they have a good time, but they're always aware of what's lurking around them. Their senses are so just large at every minute of their life. That's kind of the same thing that's being asked of you now, only about whatever this new full moon, new thing is that you, you know, thought of. And that, again, y'all, this could be for anything. So, I have somebody out, well, I have people ask me all the time. I'm like, you know, if I get a feeling that somebody's like in a deeply spiritual place or a deeply spiritual state, you know, I'll say, well, if I, I'm being told you're doing deeply spiritual work. I'm a waiter. I'm like, how is that not spiritual? How is that not spiritual? You're bringing people sustenance that's going to make them happy and give them fuel, which will give them energy, which will, and I go down it like that. I said, you're, you're, you're attending to the needs of one of the, one of the most basic human needs, which is food. And you, you can energize that food by doing a prayer over their food or a mantra over their food or whatever, and just send them, you know, send them blessings, send them abundance, send whatever, you know, if they're having a hard day, you know, say something. And I, I you know, as a matter of fact, who was this? It's called it's it's called intentional chocolate. I think Dr. Dean Radin was a part of this study, but in a double blind study, what they did was I think it was Dr. Dean Radin who also wrote the incredible book Real Magic and Entangled Minds. Y'all, you've got to read Entangled Minds. It it'll blow your mind. But um, they 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 took chocolate, right? And they divided the chocolate into two groups. And then they divided uh, a group into two groups, people that would meditate good, good affirmations or positive affirmations or, you know, mantras, everything was positive. And they would meditate on that. And, and it would be over the chocolate to bless the chocolate. And then they had another group that didn't touch the chocolate. Well, in the, in the people on the receiving end of the chocolate, they divided them into two groups to see which ones, if, if, if there was going to be a difference in the ta perceived taste or perceived quality of the chocolate. 
And don't you know, don't you know, in that very respectable, respectable by a respected scientist, double blind study, right? That's about as scientific as it gets. Well, maybe there's more, but you, you see where I'm going. Th they could, the, the, the reports of an elevation in happiness, um, an immediate lift in their spirit, just so much good tasting. They're like, God, this chocolate tastes so good. It's, you know, it's this, that said it all, right? It's like Dr. Masari Emoto with his water, playing different kinds of music to water, writing different words that the water never saw because he would write the words and then he would place it up against the glass where, you know, where the back of it was opaque. You, you couldn't see through it. So the water couldn't see and, and they would, you know, the water would have seen the words backwards, but it could have made it out. Sounds kooky, but then he took pictures of all of the fragmentation and, and everything that happened with the water cells and molecule, molecules, not cells. And so there's, there's something, there's something deeply, deeply, deeply calling you today to realize whatever you're doing, you're bringing the fire. You're bringing the passion. You, you are, um, you're, you're fox, you know? I mean, it, in the um, Chinese and Peruvian cultures, fox, they speak of fox as a demigod. And shaman, they, they have named fox the fire bringer. And fox spirit can be a trickery. It can be a trickster, that's for sure. But when fox, you know, that saying, smart as a fox, there's a reason for that. They're smart. And they seem to have learned the ways of humans pretty quickly. But if you think about it, they're the forefathers, so to speak, um, of the domesticated dog, and so is wolf. So that's, uh, that's a lot to take in for today, because when we look out on a path and we've got our chakras run and you can feel like, man, I'm gonna hit that road, whee, and then ain't nothing gonna break my stride, right? Nobody gonna slow me down, oh no, good. Just to make sure that you've got at least a few breadcrumbs on your trail, on your path, you don't be like jamming out, right, to Steppenwolf. Um, holy cow, <laughs> it just hit me. No wonder that song's been playing in my head. Yesterday was a full moon and Steppenwolf is the one who did the song Born to be Wild. Burp, Bernadette, spiritual crash test dummy. I'll be here all week. So, <laughs> so um, just, it, and I, I almost want to say ramp it down a notch because it wasn't Wolf that came out. It was Fox. But, but there's an elegance to the way that foxes think that maybe some wolves don't exactly have. It's almost like the brain versus brawn kind of thing. And that's not to take away from wolves in any way at all. And it's not to say that foxes can't be fierce. Oh, yes, they can. But let's be, you know, listen, there's a difference in body size. There's a difference in what they are comfortable or confident in attacking. And so Fox is asking you to go on the attack of whatever this new thing is that you've You've cleared your blocks and you're creating in the light of the full, you know, wolf moon. And it's just, I, I want to, my emotion for you all at the moment is a sense of reverence instead of go get them, y'all. It's like looking at someone going, I, I knew they could do it. I, I knew it. But watching it is, I keep hearing poetry in motion, poetry in motion, poetry in motion. So if writing or poetry or storytelling or any of like that is part of what you wanna do, this is the good time to howl it out. This is the greatest time to work that throat chakra, have every word that you speak come from that place of love. Uh, and I just, you know, I just, I'm just in such awe of you guys. Congratulations for your forward movement. So I hope that was helpful. Um, pick up your copy of the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as you move forward, don't let anybody break your stride and stay wild.